Hi, and welcome to Mattisink's Skill of the Week. This week we are going to be going over the basic text editor found in many of the tools within Mattisink. So to start, let's head over to our uh, portal in question. In this case, I'm using Mattisink Headquarters. Now, the basic text editor, which we will get to in a second, can be found in tools like the People tool, the Events tool, the Forms tool, the News tool, the Polls tool, the Messaging tool, and a few other ones. So it's a very pervasive uh, feature of Mattisink, which is why we're going to give it a skill of the week today. So to go to a basic text editor, I'm just going to go to a news post and create a news post. And that will take us over to the uh, creating a news post page in which we will have the basic text editor. Now, uh, you can find the basic text editor, as I said earlier, in many different locations on Mattisync. This is just one of the areas that will bring you over to the basic text editor. Now, uh, the basic text editor doesn't include this title uh, line. This is just part of creating a news post. The basic text editor is actually this right here. Uh, this uh, box is where we will be placing uh, our text, uh, images, videos, and we're going to go over all of that now. Uh, I'm not going to go over th this stuff. We know that this is to make stuff bold. This is to make it italic. This is to change the color of the text. This is to create a list. This is to create bullet points or outlines, that sort of thing. We know that this pushes to the side, this pushes to the center, and this pushes to the right. Uh, now we're going to go over this stuff. This stuff is the important stuff. So we're starting here with the chain. The chain is to create a link to something. So if I were to put the word video right there and I highlight it, I would then click the chain button and the URL would go right here. Uh, target is basically how the link is going to push people out. In terms of the different destinations, new window is going to put it into a new tab. And then the other three below it are uh, just going to, on the tab you're currently on, shift you over to the link. So this Madison page, if we clicked on it, would turn into our link destination. All right, so that is link. Uh, this button right here, after we've created a link, we, we would highlight our link, and then if we want that link to no longer be available, we would simply click this and it would unlink that video. This is to create an anchor link. An anchor link is basically a link to something within your page. So if you have a very long news post and you wanted uh, maybe in the first paragraph uh, to have the option to link to something you say later on in the news post, you would create that anchor link and that anchor link would then take you to the lower place in the uh, news post. Uh, you're just going to give it a name and you'd click OK. Of course, I can't do that right now. And then here is image. Uh, this is the ability to insert an image. Uh, you can put in the URL. The URL would be something from Google. Just make sure that when you're searching in Google, uh, for instance, let's say smiley face. Uh, let's say we like this image right here we need to view image and then once we are here we are at that images URL we can copy it and then we can go here let's click image again click URL press OK and the image appears uh, a quick side note we don't have to go through all of that I have the image saved right here if I just drag it over here it'll plop down that way too so it's up to you which way you're gonna input images the one thing I do want to mention is that if we double click on an image, this screen comes up and it is an image altering screen. We can alter the width. You can see that this picture is very big. Uh, we can alter the height and the width so that it can be better fit into our news post. Uh, border, we can select how large the border for that image is going to be. Alternative text would be for some individuals who cannot view. Uh, a news post. They may have a product or a um, service that reads the image or the uh, news post for them. Alternative text would be for those services when it gets to the picture it would read what you put there. 
link, we can create, much like we did before, a link via this image. So if we click on this image, it would function the same as a regular old hyperlink. We'd put the URL here, and these are the same options we had before in the link window. And that is image. Uh, this is basically creating a table. You can see rows, columns, and width height. Pretty simple there. Um, and uh, this will basically create a break. So if we do this again, do this again, as you can see, this is creating breaks in what we're typing, uh, segmenting what we're typing. Here we will see the different fonts uh, we can use. Uh, heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, heading 4, and normal for our non-heading text. Size, of course, pretty self-explanatory. And then so our, so source is the interesting one. With source, we can add videos into our news post. So how do we do that? Well, what we need is we need a video. The videos that are accepted via Matasync will be YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook videos, and Ustream videos. And on every single video, you will see somewhere on the screen the option to share. If we click share, we then want embed. And embed is the link we can use to put a video into the basic text editor. So if we copy this, all of this that you see in the embed uh, heading, and we go to source, you will see some HTML. Do not worry about the HTML. We literally are not playing with it at all. All we are doing is maybe adding a space, pasting what we just copied into our text, clicking source, and what you'll see in the editing process is this in-frame screen, but once we were to post it, then this would become our video. And that's how we put a video into the uh, text editor. And that is basically the basic text editor. It comes in different forms, for instance, with the people tool. If we click people and invite people, well, here's our basic text editor again. If we were to, uh, instead of people, let's say go to forms, uh, we can create a form, and via form, if we were to add a page, add a text box, basic text editor, and you'll see also in the description part of the form, another basic text editor. So you can see this basic text editor appears a lot, and those are the different uh, tools that are a part of it, how to put in a, an image, a video, how to create links, all of that good stuff. And that is this week's Madison Skill of the Week. I hope you all have a great week, and I will see you at the next Skill of the Week. Have a good one. Bye-bye.